Good morning to all of you class. Today I have to make important information for you. We have our blueprint. In which we have chapter number 1. We have chapter number 2. Chapter number 1 is I guess integers. We have done exercise 1.3 and exercise 1.4. Chapter number 2 is fractions and decimals. So we have done all the 7 exercises. There are 7 exercises. First 4 are of fraction and the other of our decimal I guess. And then we have done chapter number 13 that is exponents. We have done all three exercises. Okay. So now we are just left with one chapter that is chapter number 6. Congruency. Congruence of triangles. Now if you would be thinking ki ma'am hum ne to mean me bhi remote bhi kiya tha. They were just enrichment classes. That was not a part of our syllabus. We had started our syllabus from 1st of April only. So I want to you to make sure that if you have a rough notebook or even if you have rough pages. Okay so what you can do you can combine all your pages, sheets. And you make uh, staple it into a notebook and make sure that your work is complete and is correct also. Okay. So <clears throat> what you can do is you can do start completing any chapter. Your ma uh, order won't matter to me. If you want that right now, I can give you some time to complete chapter number 13. There are only 13. Now only three exercises in this chapter. You can complete this. Tally your answers from the back if you have a book. If you don't have, I can send you. You can ask me. So if your answer is not getting matched, then it is my problem. Then you have to contact me. You can ask me, Ki ma'am, how to solve this. I'm always there for you. So you have to make sure that your work is complete. You can start with the chapter 13. Once you are done with the chapter 13, then later on you can start with chapter number 2. So I am sure there are students who have already completed the work and who were very well organized. Who are working with me, they will say that complete. Hai. Okay? So I know their names also and I know because they have been sending me work. What I will do, what I have planned is that for students who have not completed their work, I can give two to three days to make sure that at least your two chapters are complete. Chapter number two and chapter number 13. Both are complete with all the 10 exercises. Okay. So that you can make pace with me. So that when we start off with a new chapter, so you don't have to repeat anything. आप सीधा वो करेंगे और उसके बाद से आपका चैप्टर नंबर वन रह जाएगा, which I can make you do again while doing the revision, okay? And for oh, it was chapter number seven. The next chapter that we'll do will be chapter number seven. That will be of congruence of triangles, okay? So we will do this chapter only and only when I will be sure enough that you have provided me with the completed work. If I will get the completed work only then I will be glad to move. And I am sure that all of you won't be possible because always there are some people who... Uh, who cannot, who are not able to do and make pace with me because I know that it is exercises. Hai. Uh, I will give you an assignment for the same for students who are keeping pace. 
Now they can surely do a assignment. This is some word extra questions for exponents. Okay. And we will be solving them today. I will be giving some homework also. You can do this in your fair notebook if it is complete. If it is not complete then you can uh, write these questions in your rough notebook. Okay. These are just for practice purposes. And uh, so that your concepts get more clear. Yesterday I had seen your test and seen that many of you were confused in the questions like how to show a number as a product of prime factors. Okay, I'll do the same question for you twice or thrice. It says express the following numbers. Express the following numbers. As a product of prime factors. अब बच्चे पूछते हैं कि मैम हमें एलसीएम निकालना है, एक्सीएफ निकालना है, कुछ नहीं निकालना हमें हमें प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड से उसके प्राइम फैक्टर्स निकालने हैं, ठीक है? So that मुझे ये पता चल जाए क्योंकि वो उनके प्रोडक्ट बनके ही तो बनता था। Let's suppose मेरे पास नंबर होता था सिक्सटीन तो मैं सारे प्राइम नंबर से डिवाइड करती थी यहाँ पे और फिर मैं सिक्सटीन को कैसे शो करती थी इनका प्रोडक्ट शो करती थी राइट टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू ठीक है ना मेरे को एच सी एफ निकालना है ना मेरे को एल सी एफ निकालना है क्योंकि वो तब निकलते हैं जब दो या दो से ज्यादा नंबर होते हैं यह बोला गया होता है दिस इज जस्ट अ मेथड आई एम यूजिंग टू फाइंड आउट द प्राइम फैक्टर्स सो मैं कोई एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट करना है तो मैं टू की पावर फोर लिखूंगी बिकॉज टू इज रिपीटेटिवली गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाइड एंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स सो फोर वुड बी रिटर्न एज अ पावर और बहुत बच्चे क्या करते हैं कि वो टू के साथ ही फोर लिख देते हैं ऐसे सो दिस इज रॉन्ग दिस लुक्स लाइक ट्वेंटी फोर इट शुड बी थोड़ा हवा में होना चाहिए सुपर स्क्रिप्ट जिसे कहते हैं एंड थोड़ा छोटा लिखना होना चाहिए ओके सो आई एल डू सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू बेस्ड ऑन दिस दिस क्वेश्चन ओनली सो इफ इट इज गिवन दैट एक्सप्रेस एंड वी हैव अ नंबर लाइक फोर थर्टी टू तो सबसे छोटा नंबर जो डिवाइड करेगा वो टू है डिवाइड कर लेते हैं टू जन जा ट्वेल्व बचा सिक्स टू टू सा वन टू टू वन सा टू दें जीरो दें एट दें टू से डिवाइड हुआ फिफ्टी फोर टू से डिवाइड करेंगे ट्वेंटी सेवन नेक्स्ट थ्री से डिवाइड होगा ठीक है इफ द नंबर इज चेंजिंग यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट ओके सो नाउ फोर थर्टी टू कैन बी रिटेन एस फोर थर्टी टू को कैसे शो कर सकते हो एज अ प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट का मतलब होता है मल्टीप्लाई का साइन आता है बीच में प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट्स प्राइम नंबर्स तो टू कितनी टाइम्स आया फोर टाइम्स और थ्री कितनी टाइम्स आया थ्री टाइम्स सो माय आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू रेज टू पार फोर इंटू थ्री रेज टू पार थ्री ओके सो नाउ आई विल गिव यू सम क्वेश्चन For your own practice. हाँ इसी का question जो आपको show करना होगा चलो एक और करके दिखा देती हूँ thousand. If you want you can split it also in the form of tree that we used to do. कि एक तो prime number लिखिए but ये बहुत confusing भी हो जाएगा तो let's leave and do this method. 2 into 500 thousand होता है, 2 into 250 500 होता है, 125 अब ये किससे divide होगा? 5 से divide होगा, 5 to the 10, 5 5s ना 25, 5 5s ना 25, 5 5s ना 5, ठीक है? So my answer for thousand comes up to be like 2 into 2 into 2 
into 5 into 5 into 5. So my answer to this question would be 2 raised to power 3 into 5 raised to power 3. मुझे यहाँ पे law of exponents नहीं लगाने को बोला गया था, तो I'm leaving my answer here. If it says simplify it using the laws, फिर मुझे law पता है when the powers are same and the number is in multiplication, so I can find the product first and then put the power. That means इसको मैं 10 की power 3 भी बोल सकती हूँ, okay? वरना यहाँ तक ही answer आपका correct है, okay? So now I'll give you some questions based on it. So you will solve, you will have to express first number is 72. Second number would be 16,000. Okay. Solve these two questions. And uh, third number can be 256. Now next thing that this is your homework now you have to practice these three questions. The next thing that I want you to do is okay that is it you can practice this only and we can meet tomorrow for the revision of the chapter exponents. Thank you class.